What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Stanas channel, my name is Shanks and today we are on the map Firian deal for a 1v1 video commentary for BFM U1 on the patch 2.22 version 3.5 and it's a great matchup between Rohan and Mordor once again good versus evil, I like this we have the Golem on the field and also Orcs slaughtering around this area in the meantime Rohan trying to creep with the help of Mary. Mary can one shot those goblins so one Mary. You, you send them first forward and then your peasants can actually easily defend this oh that was really close actually he was expecting him to finish that's why he cancelled it there comes the eye of sauron but who's gonna get the last on the creep that's the most important part rohan got the got the cre creep and the money that's a good start for rohan this is gonna be easy fight level two peasants can actually slaughter at least two battalions of orcs by themselves hobbit in the meantime Gollum! You sneaky little hobbit. Actually, the orcs hit level 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. We get to see more peasants. Still a good start for Rohan, even though he lost his, you know, hobbit and a couple of peasants. But he got an additional settlement over here. He got a creep. He got power points. It's pretty decent. Half a power point collected. Hobbit will be revived. Two farms. One, two, three farms outside. So he has five farms in total, which means 20% discount. That's why he's gonna rush the stable for very early Rohirrim. In the meantime, Mordor opening with an orc pit, obviously, going for a slaughterhouse and insta Haradrim Palace, which is good for creeping and also good against horses. This level 2 peasant is chasing, but I think this Haradrim has lost his way. He's gonna get some damage and one of them, maybe even two of them, maybe even three of them. Three. Oh, that's really bad, actually. <laughs> that's really painful. Good thing is he has still one untied settlement here. But the bad thing is he has only two settlements inside the castle that gives him money. That means losing this is going to be quite painful. Rohan going for multiple additional farms inside the castle and going for the Rohirrim. Rohirrim now will creep this eventually over here. And Mordor will also be able to defend this against those peasants. No problemo. So Mordor bees could look a bit better, but it's fine. I mean, he's lucky that his opponent kind of goes for the creep and not for this lumber mill. I personally think it's always better to send the first Rohirrim to destroy the lumber mills first. But it's all about preference, you know. It's not like you get a huge advantage out of that. This creates more momentum and is more like a safe way of playing. Because you gonna make sure that your creep is gonna, I mean, that the creep is gonna be yours. And your opponent will get less creep. So it's like a good thing too. Mordor. Moving on to this area, but he has no Haradrims, it means this, you know, horses can actually just trample them. You don't need to be scared. Trample, trample, trample. Orcs, they don't stand a chance. Even with Eye of Sauron and Tainted Land, they would still no match, be no match for the Rohirrim. In the meantime, these Orcs are attacking this farm all the time. And he's gonna demolish, actually, the stable after recruiting only two horses and going for the Archer range. Okay. It's very interesting. I've never seen this before. I mean, without horseman shields, I'm 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 not expecting him to rush the mortal beast anytime soon. And maybe it's not even a bad choice. So you get you know really fast archers upon the field. That's that might not be even the worst thing in the world. But he has runes, soldiers of rune, and for that reason you need to revive Mary and put him inside. So if you don't know the runes or also the Easterlings are actually very vulnerable against hero damage. The outpost is an investment of 800 for Rohan, and he will be losing it before he can make even 60 resources out of that, you know? It's really painful. Still many creeps remaining around this area, and also this creep. And Mordor will be able to destroy this slowly but surely. In the meantime, we will get to see some human archers. They only cost 10 command points and 250 resources, but their main goal is to get the archer range level 2. So, you know, Rohan can start recruiting some of the Alban warriors. Elven Warriors, pretty strong units, cause obviously more command points and also more expensive, but trust me, they are very worth it, they are also way faster compared to the Yeoman Archers. They have also Theodian on the field, with a cheap, I mean, very strong leadership for a cheap hero like him, 40% damage and 50% armor. But he's the king, after all, you know? Will he be able to cloak here? Actually, nice. Smart move. I like it. That will delay Mordor to capture this one. Because Eye of Sauron can use to can be used to stealth. Reveal the stealth. But it's on cooldown. Mordor creeping with this Souls of Rune. 
and give it to Thurin. Oh, I mean, he got the experience, but in, at this point, it would be just better to give it always to Theodin, you know? So you can get him eventually to level 4, which is pretty decent. Even if you don't go for horses now, Glorious Charge is always nice. Because at some point, Mordo might make some combos. So you basically make 2-3 horses, you give them Glorious Charge, and you can trample all the combos. Or if Mordo has too many catapults, you can give Glorious Charge to your horses and destroy the catapults too. Okay, he's fire rose on them. But that's an enemy land. I don't know about fighting here. I think he's gonna be losing this fight. Never mind, he's gonna win it. But Mordor has the full map at the bottom. So Rohan is kind of playing it too slow. And that's good for Mordor. He was using Eye of Sauron to reveal the Hobbit and kill him. Full beast for Mordor. Trolls upon the field. And he will have now the troll number 2. He needs 2 more trolls to get it to level 2 for the drama troll. The creep has been captured by Mordor. So Mordor is industry, obviously, giving him lots of money. You can see the difference, 2019, and this one also levels up way faster now because of the increased resource income. When you take a look into this, it will help your structure to hit level 2 or even level 3 way faster, you know? Theorin, level 3, that means it's pretty decent actually, but only for the Rohirrim. So the 4th Eolingas only applies on the calf unit, you know? Um, if you want to have like a absolute resistance to fear, you need to recruit Theorin. Uh, I mean Gimli. Gimli level 2 has the stubborn pride. It will make you immune to um, abilities like Screech from the Nazgul or the Witch King or also the roar ability from the Drama Troll. Now we get to see the Elvin race. Maybe Elvin could be nice. Elvin pretty decent against Trolls but also especially against Nazgul and Witch King later on. But, but the problem with Rohan is, he's kind of poor, you know, he's poor um, because he has not enough map control. He has still three farms, don't get me wrong, but it's just not enough to match with the speed of resource income for Mordor, from Mordor. He has also heavy armor because there is so much stuff that Rohan needs to do pretty much simultaneously. He gotta keep making more elves, it means he will have to invest 560 for the elves, 400 for the fire rose. Then he needs to buy upgrades from the armory. Armory costs a lot of money, upgrades cost a lot of money. Then he needs to invest 300 for the heavy armor on each unit he want to give upgrades to. Like, there are so many things he needs to spend money into, and this all of that simultaneously, which means he needs just more map control. But that's going to be the first push, boys, okay? We have two combos. Peasant, Yomon Archer, this combo over here. We have also the draft, you can see, and also the heavy armor. There's like the golden armor they have. Two women and three men. Theorin gives them leadership, but no additional leadership, so they have only 40% more damage and 50% more armor. The damage is more important than armor against trolls. The good thing is there is only one drama troll, so if Rohan can manage to kind of kill, and with a Nazgul. So he didn't go for a Witch King, he went for a regular Nazgul. Witch King would be a much more devastating choice for Rohan, so Nazgul is definitely more easy to be dealt with. Compared to the Witch King, Witch King will make those trolls even stronger, you know, it would be a disaster. But you can see the damage from Elves is kind of nutty too, like we have like a lot of Elves. Um, level 5, don't lose them, very important units. The farm will be protected for now. And he has also one farm here. What Rohan can do is you can go for the Grand Harvest on the farms to get even more money. It's a good investment into the lead scheme too. Similar to the marketplace from Gondor, but you don't have to build a structure for this. But, you know, because of that, you need to kind of invest uh, one by one. So it's obviously more valuable in your at your farms inside the castle, which are protected by walls, while a farm like this can be easily destroyed. Okay, Nazgul, a couple of trolls, Drama Troll, Drama Troll number two. And now Mordor is 2000 plus. So he will eventually try to save up for the Witch King. You can see that Nazgul has been recruited, but let's be honest here, Nazgul was not adding anything to the table. So Nazgul is not going to do too much. He can't really commit to this without getting killed. So what I'm trying to say is like he has like 3,000 now. He would have by now definitely more than enough money for the Witch King, and this would be just much more valuable now and also later. But what he can do eventually is go for the Rohan castle. That's also like a solid decision what you can do. The Nazgul is getting poked by the Alvin 
Warriors. They're gonna be Alvin Summon. There is no Orcon. There comes the Screech to mess him up a little bit. Um, this dude is about hit level 4. Will Trolls engage though? I mean, I don't know. I mean, they could use Tainted Land. R Rohan is no Tainted Land. Elves are running for their lives. They also get invisible around the trees. The Nazgul will be the target of the Elven Warriors. There comes the heal. Boom, 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 chakalaka, boom, chakalaka. Trolls are smashing. Uh, boom, boom. And also, the Nazgul is just safe. So, at this point, that's how you want to fight with Mortal, by the way. You want to throw in everything that you have and kind of force your opponent into a decision-making situation. He needs to make a choice. You make your choice by going all out. But he gotta make a choice. What do I target first? Do I try to kill the Nazgul first? Do I try to kill the trolls which are running at me with light speed? Or do I try, try to run away? Or do I try to kill the drama trolls? So many targets. And you make your choice. So if he attacks your trolls, your Nazgul will keep knocking them down on the ground. If he attacks your drama troll, your trolls will smash him. And if he attacks your Nazgul, your trolls will smash him too. But Aragorn is here, no Anduril, he went for the Elven Wood and didn't go with this, but he placed the Elven Wood around this area, which is a very smart move from Farad. I like this choice, because there will be a fight most likely around this area, and because here Mordor has to fight. So you gotta make, you gotta summon or, you know, use Elven Wood slash Tainted Land on spots where it most likely gonna be a big fight and your opponent can't dodge the fight. Here he can't dodge the fight. What is he gonna do? He's gonna give up the castle. But here he can easily disengage. There is nothing. There is an outpost which is also valuable, but not as valuable as the castle, you know? Oh, be careful, Theorin King! Dude, you need Eobin. I mean... Oh, he knocked the... No! No! Unlucky! That's big! That means you lose 40% damage and 50% armor. That's your time to shine. Witch King also on the field. They are shining bright like a diamond. Almost 6 power points in the bank for Mordor. And that means he only needs one more power point for the, for the ultimate strength of Mordor, the Darkness. Darkness, Eye of Sauron, Drummer Troll and the Witch King. Your trolls are going to be Aragorn. You have like basically 10 Aragorns with Anduril and Bleedmaster. That's how strong they are with this much leadership. Rohan is forced to build multiple towers, but unfortunately for Rohan, he is not even that wealthy. Um, and now you can disengage. That's so good, you know? Like, this is what you want to do. People are always thinking, I gotta commit now. No, you don't have to. You can disengage. You gotta make the choice you need to make, which is the best choice here. You force him to invest so much money into building those towers and he's broke you forced him to demolish everything and build statues and he's broke so and then you didn't lose anything out of that and you disengage it's like perfect Theorin is back in the business again be careful Theorin maybe you get him dismounted one troll is gonna run it down and Mordor keeps making more trolls always at least two trolls in the queue for the troll cage, which is level 3 by the way. That means 50% faster recruit time. Each troll will be there in 15 seconds. It's like a crazy production speed, you know? <laughs> it's like a crazy production speed. And also level 2 furnaces here, slaughterhouse, which is pretty tanky. Which is pretty nice for Mordor's economy. Mordor has a lot of money. He even can go for the third Nazgul. He even went for the third Nazgul. So Mordor has an army of angry trolls which are about to charge in. Remember, darkness available, but eyes on cooldown. There comes the Screech, no resistances to fear on a level 1 unit. Multiple Screech, there comes the darkness. He's trying to set up an ambush with this elves, but why no Eowyn? Eowyn is the key! You see, if he stops, the trolls are gonna smash him. If he doesn't stop, the two Nazgûls and the Witch King gonna keep smashing him! This is how you wanna play this, you know? This is how you win fights. If he disengages, that's great, but then your Nazgûls and Witch King will be faster than them. You can crush them. If he ever stops to fight your Nazgûls, your trolls charging will kill everything. So you got like two power points out of that fight and also plenty of units lost. You are rich, your opponent is poor. 
and even if you lose to your two Nazgûl and the Witch King, you will only lose time because you can revive them for free. So each treat will benefit you. But you need Eowyn. Actually, you also need Legolas. Like it, like I said, there is so much stuff that Rohan needs, but he has no eco to do this what he needs. You know, that's a big problem he has. Look, the three Nazgûl, two Nazgûl and the Witch King. And look how many trolls, man. Do you like trolls? Yes. <laughs> Do you like trolls? Yes. Which are your favorite... Which is your favorite creature of the Middle Earth, you know, from the films that we have seen? From the original trilogy, I mean. Do you like trolls more? Do you like ants more? Do you like Mooma kills more? Which of those three monsters or eagles more? Those three monsters do you like the most? That's a camp situation. He's gonna put them on the banner. Um, but I think even now, Rohan, uh, I mean, Mordor could just commit. But you gotta be careful that darkness is gonna be on cooldown very soon. It has a cooldown of six minutes, but the duration is two minutes and 40 seconds. So right before it hits the middle, you know the effect is gone. Now here's the Rohirrim Arches, which are strong, but not strong enough without the Eoma leadership. And Mordor has literally 85% of the map. Going now for the Triple Siege Works at the outpost. Two full health Nazgûs, one full health Witch King, even some soldiers of Rune, look at them. Drama Trolls shining bright like a diamond, ready to celebrate the upcoming victory of Mordor. And Rohan waiting for the 50, and he's gonna look to the east and hope that Gandalf is gonna show up with Eoma and a huge army. Because that's legit the only thing what can turn this game around unless Mordor is making a big mistake you know like there is always a chance he's gonna make a big mistake lose all his heroes lose all his army and this can literally happen like here they have so much leadership too right they have the banner leadership this one which gives more damage 25 percent this one gives more damage then you can put Theodin next to this area look he's beating beating shoot 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 look this damage but look that's what I'm trying to say imagine Eowyn here right Eowyn one spear in an Asgul dead like, you invest 1100 to crush a hero that costs 5000. That's like super valuable. Beautiful shot. What is Tyrion doing here? Aragorn! Aragorn got one shotted. One does not simply walk into Mordor, Aragorn. Araton's son. Oh, that's disastrous, actually. Like, Gimli, again, very good. Okay, because Gimli's extra can one shot catapults. And he just needs to get level 2 for the immunity to heal. So basically like a best choice against Mordor in the lead scheme. Because catapults give lots of experience to heroes. So one extra, you destroy the catapult, you insta get level 2. And that means all the fear which Mordor provides can be completely negated. I don't know why people are actually not discovering that Gimli is a very strong hero in 2.22. In because he only costs 1802, right? He costs so much less compared to Legolas. In Aragorn who is gonna be revived the only reason why he went for Aragorn obviously is because of leadership big shot yeah I mean Mordor is like at this point playing with his prey you know do not come between the Nazgul and his prey maybe trolls are charging in beautiful shot bam 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 two hits all it takes Look, the catapult production, you know, you can kill them, obviously, you can destroy them, obviously, but he has three of them. That's why Mordor lead game with, like, enough map control, you can go for triple siege warrants against campers. Big commitment. Good play by Mordor, good play by Mordor, forcing, Theodin is gonna, Theodin was thinking, okay, I have glorious charge, I gotta be invincible, but hell no. I told you, these trolls are literally Aragorns, now you have 20 Aragorns which are faster than Aragorn, tilts him, makes him demolish everything, including his citadel, and that's gonna be the game, boys. Mordor beats Rohan. GG, well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a track, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.